So we were at my sister's. We decided that's where we were gonna view the eclipse. She lives right next to Eastern Heights campus. And we thought the field would be the perfect place to view it. No trees in the way. Um, so we gathered there, cookout. We were there all day. Um, leading up to the eclipse, my husband and my nephew decided to pass time, play ball in the field. My nephew Kyle actually saw what he thought was trash and just kind of kept playing ball. Then my husband, Scott, he saw it and took a little bit of a further view and saw what looked like a, a kite string. And he was like, well, there's something attached to the kite string. So he looked even closer and then saw the, you know, foam box that said NASA Eclipse Project. And he's like, whoa, this is something that's really cool, not garbage. Brought it back to the party. We were all ecstatic, just added to the hype of the day. We were all debating who should call, what should we do with this? Um, it was after totality happened and we were still just in like awe of what we just saw that I was like, you know, I'm going to call. So I took it upon myself. I ended up calling the number. Um, we played phone tag for a few days back and forth. And um, I was like, you know what? This was found on the school property. So I'm going to see if the school's interested in it. And of course they were. I brought it in and the rest is history. <laughs> Next thing I know, there's an article written about it. And um, you know, you're contacting me for a podcast and I'm just still in awe of that day. That was such an amazing day and another layer to the experience of it. It was great. So the balloon was brought to us by a neighbor here in the Eastern Heights community. Um, they were on our property watching the eclipse on the 8th and they found the weather balloon um, and brought it to us because it had been found on our property. When I first saw the weather balloon, I had no idea where to even start, um, but we did see on the transponder there's uh, information about a school in Wyoming. So I looked on their website, got some information about the program that launches the weather balloon. I reached out to the school. I sent them an email and let them know that we had found it um, and what would they like us to do with it. And it sort of grew into a big story from there. The radio's on that fell in Illyria um, that you guys have. Uh, we launched that actually at one o'clock in the morning on Eclipse Day. And we launched it in the rain. Um, and it went all the way up to almost 30,000 meters, which if you convert that to um, feet, comes out to about 97,000 feet above sea level. So way up in the atheosphere. Oh, man, she's it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and that's actually on the, on the low end of where our radio zones were going to. The, the average height at which they got was actually about 110,000 feet um, and they varied anywhere from about 89,000 up to as much as 120,000. So they get really high up in the atmosphere. If you think about where airplanes fly about 30 to 40,000 feet, we're talking about three or four times higher than that. And if sometimes um, back in Wyoming, we, we sometimes fly big balloons with cameras on them that we actually do recover. Um, and we'll do that with schools a lot of the time. And so if you look at the videos, I mean, at, the, at those altitudes, the sky is completely black. You're, you're above about 99% of, of the air in the atmosphere. And so you're, it, we call it near space. And yeah. even though you're technically, if you were to ask a, an astronomer or somebody who's, you know, you know, into that whole thing, you're not really in space yet, but close enough. You know, Rowan, he's in second grade. He kept coming home that whole week leading up to the eclipse and they, you know, we're learning about it. And um, I was like, buddy, this is really cool. He didn't know what a weather balloon was. So I was trying to tell him. And the more I told him, the more like, oh, this is kind of a cool thing that happened. Um, Ava, of course, was um, excited as well. Everybody was. And I just knew that I had to get the school involved because, you know, the kids were just learning about it. This was an epic once in a lifetime event in our hometown. And I'm like, they have to know that this landed in the school property. Like, what are the chances of that? You know, these kids have to know. The project that we're part of, a big aspect of it is community outreach. 
So anytime we're able to engage with the community about the kind of stuff we're doing, um, especially this project with the Eclipse, it's, uh, it's always wonderful. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know, it just makes me feel like we're, like we're giving back a little bit, I guess, but it's just, it's just nice to talk to people and share about, about uh, the science that we're um, trying to, to study.